network world as digitalization ramps up, data center networks carry more and more services, which are increasingly changeable. As such, network ONM is on the ever increasing screen. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce the network digital map function of the Huawei L3.5 Plus Autonomous Driving Data Center Network solution. Traditional network ONM statically draws the network topology. However, as services constantly change, the static topology view is prone to distortion and is difficult to maintain. Thus yet, traditional troubleshooting relies heavily on expert experiences, which is too slow for handling an application fault on the network. In addition, traditional network ONM lacks application visibility. The invoking relationships between applications, traverse networks, and application paths are invisible, affecting ONM and troubleshooting efficiency. To address these challenges, Huawei releases its Network Digital Map, ushering the era of L3.5 Plus autonomous driving networks. Unlike the static network topology of traditional ONM, Huawei's Network Digital Map delivers real-time, dynamic, and high-position performance. Huawei's network digital map is packed with new technologies such as big data computing engine, AI, search algorithms, and the root simulation and verification algorithms of iMaster and CE Fabric. With these, it provides a variety of features, including topology visualization, topology restoration, path navigation, and searching and locating, which give real-time visibility to network quality. As a result, Customers can easily view network conditions based on application views, greatly improving network ONM efficiency. Next, we will demonstrate some functions of the digital map on the iMaster NCE Fabric MDC GUI. First, let's go to the map from digital map on the homepage of iMaster NCE Fabric MDC. On the map homepage, we can see the global network topology. In the global network drop-down list, click a data center name. The original topology of the data center is displayed. In the global network drop-down list, click a region name to view the physical topology of the region. Hover the cursor over device icon, we can see the basic information and configuration information about the device. Hover the cursor over link to obtain information about device and ports at both ends of the link. If we click the plus sign next to an access switch, information about servers connected to the switch is displayed. Next, let's take a look at the search and locating functions of the map. With these functions, we can search for devices such as switches, servers, and VMs, and locate the devices on the digital map. Click the search box in the upper right corner Enter a keyword of an NE in the search box, for example, the IP address of a network device, server, or VM. Then, we can see the basic information about this NE. In addition, we can locate the NE in the topology view, and the NE is also highlighted. Finally, let's see the AB pass query function. This function allows us to query the actual traffic forwarding path between A and B in the same data center, as well as the health status of the path. With this function, ONM personnel can quickly locate the path interruption points for improved troubleshooting efficiency. Let's take the mobile payment service as an example. The authentication and authorization service needs to be invoked. With just one click on the digital map, we can clearly see the service transaction paths between A and B, including the NEs, links, status, and quality information along the path. It is just like a navigation app that provides a precise route from the starting point to destination. Before using the AB path query function, we need to perform simulation and modeling for the regions containing the devices invoked in paths. In the navigation tree in the upper left corner, click Simulation Regions and then click Simulation and Modeling to add a region to be simulated. Click OK to start simulation. After the simulation and modeling are done, click AB Path in the navigation tree in the upper left corner. 
the IP path page is displayed. Enter the IP address of hosts A and B to be queried. The network forwarding path from A to B is highlighted in the digital map topology. While this network digital map visualizes the network, making troubleshooting as easy as using a navigation app. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you and see you next time.